It's called a lottery scam. This time, a 75-year-old woman was attacked at her home in Hialeah and then kidnapped. The suspects took her jewelry and then took her to the bank to steal her money. CBS 4's Yvonne Taylor joins us live from Hialeah tonight with more about the disturbing crime and the couple of suspected crooks involved. Yvonne, how were they able to get into the victim's house? Disturbing indeed, Lauren and Elliot. I can tell you that the victim, from what we know, she was walking to her house after doing her grocery shopping when this woman approached her, telling her that she had a lottery ticket, accordingly a winning lottery ticket, that she cannot claim because of her legal status. The same pattern as has always happened, but this time the accusers, in addition to that, took her to the bank to retrieve all her money. Frustrada, me sentía como... I felt so frustrated, like a child who has been lied to, said Maria Ortega. She's the latest victim of the lottery scam. She lives in Hialeah. According to police, 32-year-old David Agudelo and 39-year-old Lady Rojas Chauta. Yes, her name is Lady. This couple faced charges of robbery and kidnapping of Ortega. The alleged crime occurred on November 30th as the victim was walking to her house. She got approached by a young lady offering her uh, a lottery ticket, I believe. Diacel Jova is the landlord of the house where Maria lives. He explained to CBS4 what Lady Rojas Chauta allegedly told his tenant. So the, the lady said, if you help me out, I'm going to give you a couple of thousand dollars. She said, OK, you don't need to help me out. I'll, I'll take you so you could, you know, get this lottery ticket because she couldn't cash a lottery ticket because she didn't have papers. 75 year old Maria Ortega tried to do a good deed by helping these people. You see them both coming to the house on this surveillance video because the woman asked Maria to use her bathroom. Once she came in the house, the situation changed and I believe she she got pinched in the back with some type of metal. She doesn't know if it was a gun, if it was a knife. She doesn't know. So um, then she told her to give her all of her jewelry. She gave her her jewelry. How much money are we talking about jewelry-wise? Uh, I mean, I can't tell you exactly, but anywhere from like maybe 1500 to three grand, you know? How do you feel about the fact that this happened to this woman who's who can be anybody's mother or grandmother? Well, uh, basically how I feel about it is that it sh this type of thing shouldn't be happening, you know? And I do want to bring it to anybody out there this, that maybe has gone to this situation and did not speak or call the police because they were scared. You know, it's time to go out there and, and, you know, call the police and let them know what happened. Well, the suspects were denied bond. They're still in jail. And on a good note, the bank told Maria that they're going to give her back her money. And Hialeah police, according to the landlord that we interview, contact the victim, and they told her that they found some jewelry and they want to go and claim it. Evidently, not all stories have this ending. Live in Hialeah, I'm Ivan Taylor, CBS 4 News.